Hello, and welcome to my prayer closet. I'm really happy that you chose to come and pray with me today, and I welcome you. Today, we're going to be praying and laying hands over your workspace and workplace. And I'll explain more about that in just a moment. Now, if it's your first time here, this is what we do on this channel. We pray, we study God's word on this channel, and we provide practical tips to help you live your life in a victorious way. If you're listening to this for the first time and you feel like you might need daily prayer and encouragement or a Bible study once a month or maybe just some tips, please join our faith family by hitting the subscribe button. I consider it such an honor to pray for my subscribers. Let me know if you join us by hit saying I'm new below so I can pray for you. It's an honor to do so, okay? Um, also, welcome back. All of my awesome, uh, anointed, spirit feel great, uh, radical women for Christ. I love y'all and I'm grateful to be in partnership with y'all in ministry. Now, if you were with me yesterday, remember I mentioned um, that our good sister, uh, I call her uh, Sister T, uh, is blessing you all um, uh, by sponsoring a contest for three ladies to win um, the goals and prayer planner you see on the screen. So all you have to do is drop your word of the year or something you want God to do this year, something, one of your goals for the year below, and you'll be entered to win. And the winners will be announced on Monday. By the way, uh, a sweet Miss uh, Miss Etta actually asks, how can I get one of those? And for those who don't know, all you have to do is click the link below if you just want to get one of them from Amazon. Uh, that is a way that you help support the channel. We certainly appreciate it if you just want to get one. And there is a link below to my page on Amazon or just go to Amazon and put my name in and um, everything I've written or done is, is there. All righty. As you all know, it's Holy Hands Week and we are laying hands over different areas of our lives. We laid hands on our bills. We've laid hands on our kids and our grandkids and we lay hands on our bodies. And so today we're going to be anointing or, or, or let's just keep it simple. OK, we're just going to lay hands over our work space and our workplace. Now, you may be wondering, well, Kimyetta, why, why do we do that? Well, there is a reason why we do that. And I won't tell you all. But before we do that, remember Every week we have a memory verse and our memory verse is Hebrews eleven six, And without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly or diligently seeks him. And so, so much of our lives are spent working, whether you're working from home, like a lot of us, or you're going to a physical place. You have no idea what has happened in that place before you got there, the day before, the month before, the year before. And so when you go into your workspace, even if you travel a lot for work, you want to lay your hands on that, on something in the room where you work and you want to dedicate it to God. You want to invite God's presence in. You want to root out any and all spirits that are in there that don't belong, any traps the devil has sent, any demonic forces, you want to pray against it before you start working, among some other things. So if you're going to a job where you sit at a desk, you lay hands on the desk. If you are uh, driving a bus, like uh, one of my sisters told me the other day uh, via email, you want to lay hands. You walk through that empty bus and you lay hands over every seat and decree and declare protection and the spirit of God in that place. Uh, if you're working in a factory, if you are a working in retail, you working in retail as you're walking to the time clock, you are praying not out loud so people can hear you and think you're crazy. But you're praying as you walk to that time clock, you lay hands on the time clock, you lay hands on the racks. If you are working in fast food, when you get to work, you say a quick prayer, you lay hands on that register and you declare God's mighty hand in the place. OK, so come on, let me pray over you. 
so that you can pray over your workspace and your workplace. Be in agreement with me, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, we just we just thank you, Lord, for being our God, our King, our Lord. We take the time to worship you and to adore you right now, Lord. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to pray with these precious ladies. Father, we invite you into our workspace. It doesn't matter whether we work in a company with 10 people or 10,000 people or if we're working for ourselves. Lord, we lay hands, our holy hands on our workspace right now. And we boldly declare our workspace is blessed. We bind, rebuke, reject all demonic and satanic forces that have been here before. We bind, rebuke, and reject the hand of the enemy in this workplace. We bind and reject and rebuke demonic forces, demonic people, demonic activity from taking place. Heavenly Father, we lay hands on our workspace and workplace and we pray the protecting hand of God. Lord, we release angels into our workspace to protect us, to keep us. The Bible says that in Psalms, you would hide us and keep us on the shadow of your wing. Your word also says no weapon formed against us will prosper in every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you'll condemn. Your word also says to fear not for I am with you, be not, be not dismayed. So, Father, we lay hands on our workspace, Lord, and we boldly declare that we prosper at work. We boldly declare a spirit of favor at work. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 4, and so shall I find favor with God and with man. So, Lord, we want to find favor, Lord. We want to find favor. So, Father, we lay hands on our workspace. We pray for insight, creativity, ingenuity. Father, we pray that we are exceptional stewards over our jobs. We pray that we are a light in darkness. Lord, help us to be a light to the people that we come in contact with. Let us be a great representation of you in this place. So as we lay hands on our workplace, We declare promotion, hallelujah, and increase here, Lord. Not so we can hoard things over, but so we can be a blessing. The Bible says in Psalm 75 that you are the judge. You put down one and you lift up another. The Bible also says that if we humble ourselves under your mighty hand, you'll exalt us in due season. And so as we lay hands on our workspaces, we pray for your divine will to be done in this place. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much for taking the time to pray with me. I am always so, so grateful um, that you take these 10, 15 minutes a day to pray. If this prayer is helpful, Uh, Hit the like button and drop me some prayer emojis and pray over your workspace. Do it every day. Doesn't matter if you're working from home, whatever. If you're sitting at your kitchen table, you lay hands and you pray the blessing of God in that place. Okay. I love y'all dearly. And always remember below, I always have complimentary prayers related to what I prayed for the day from our prayer library for you. Y'all have a blessed, awesome, prayerful day and weekend. And I'll be back Monday, the Lord willing. Bye-bye.